Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you a different way to cook chicken wings. This Chinese stew is another one of my favorite dishes my grandma used to make for me when I was a kid. Here I'm doing a rolling chop for the carrots. I cut it at a 45 degree angle and then roll the carrot 90 degrees and do another diagonal cut. By repeating it, I get more evenly sized chunks and they just look cool. A fun fact is that this is the first dish I ever filmed myself cooking, way back, about four years ago. And now, I'm finally getting to make it for you guys, using everything I've learned. I think this is an interesting way to make chicken wings, because most of the content I've seen on them either fries or bakes them, so they're crispy. But by braising them in this dish, they become moist and succulent and nearly fall off the bone, which I really like. This is one of my go-to meals for when I'm craving something hearty and simple. There aren't any crazy flavors going on in this dish, but it will warm you up and make you feel satisfied. Even though there are potatoes in this dish already, I love to eat it over rice. The potatoes will partially dissolve into the sauce and thicken it to a perfect consistency to spoon over rice. Since this dish has a lot of carbs, I like to have it if I know I'll be doing something more taxing the next day, like a long run. Most of the recipes I've been making on this channel have meat in them, but I like to incorporate plant-based meals into my diet as well, because it helps me vary my food choices and makes cooking more interesting. So, the next video I put out is going to be a copycat recipe from one of my favorite vegan restaurants in Seattle. I encourage you to try and guess which restaurant it is in the comments. I've been thinking of filming more content on nutrition and fitness tips based on my experience, so let me know if that seems interesting too. This really is a crowd pleaser whenever I make it. People just can't get enough of the sauce. The sweetness from the carrots and onions mixes perfectly with the savory oyster sauce to coat the chicken. And it all just goes perfectly over rice. Anyways, let me know if you try this one out. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. And see you next week!